All right. Now we are on to the uh, next little subsection in this, uh, which uh, the poor fellow who dared his might in creating these equations uh, needs to get a pat on the back because they are um, definitely gross to put up with. Um, so with that, let's suppose that J of R is constant in time. So what we found in chapter seven with problem 7.60, row of R and T is equal to row of R at zero plus the time derivative R plus at zero of the row charge distribution times T. Okay, that was kind of the uh, expansion with respect to T, if you will, uh, Taylor series. Um, show that E of R of T is equal to one over four pi epsilon naught integral row r prime tr over script r squared in the r hat direction dt or d tau prime that is coulomb's law holds with charge densities evaluated at the non-retarded time okay uh further oh, that should be excuse me that should not be a tr and that should just be a t um so further uh what we need to know is uh, Jafinko's equations, Jafinko, yeah, Jafinko's equations. I don't know. Um, I applaud this man's work after reading the papers that he put out. Uh, but what we know here is that uh, the electric and magnetic fields are as such, with respect to the derivative and time derivative of both the charge uh, distributions rho and the charge or and the current densities j. Um, I'll let you read those because they are not easy. Uh, but thankfully, with what we found in Chapter 7, this problem can be pushed along pretty quickly, in my, in my opinion. So in this case, we know that the rho dot is equal to rho dot r at 0. And we know that j dot r of t is 0. So based on Jeff, uh, Jeff Fink, Kimos, Jefemikos, yeah, Jefemikos equations. Someone will correct me. Um, based on his equations, we can plug things in. Now, although our although our goal is to show that the electric field is the same at the non-retarded time, the uh, equations that he proposed were evaluated at the retarded time. So uh, there's a slight confusion in my copy and paste skills and rewriting the questions, but Nonetheless, we'll proceed accordingly. So that being said, uh, we see here that the first fraction in the electric field, that row needs to be expanded with the um, row uh, approximation. So we have row r prime at zero, row dot r prime at zero with tr. And then the second equation, uh, row dot just goes to evaluate it at tr equals zero for the situation, of course, and that uh, J dot is zero, so we plug those in, good to go there, easy money. Um, okay, and then we just plug in the definition for the retarded time, and uh, as you see here, we split up that fraction, uh, thankfully, because we have to distribute the rho dot into the T minus uh, script R over C, and we separate that equation out, uh, or that fraction. So we see that we get a nice cancellation of the script R's. Good to go there. And that C from the retarded time goes into the numerator, or the denominator rather. And we push uh, that uh, nice uh, cancellation through with the plus uh, rho dot that was already there. How convenient. And then that numerator, which I color coordinated in purple, goes back to the approximation that we thought, which was R prime of T. How cool is that? Um, you know, it works out way too well and it makes you curious how it does.